That's the stuff. Yo, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Wong and there are two things I want to talk about today. First things first, I have a cold sore, so I'm sorry to inform you that you're probably gonna have to see it all video long. Um, number two, we're gonna finish the build, finally. And I need your help deciding on what I should put inside as decoration. If you guys have any idea what you would want to put inside, let me know. If you have a link or a description on where I can buy it, let me know in the comments down below. And last week, I also talked about how I got stuck in the middle of nowhere going from SoCal to NorCal to pick this car up because I took a bus. I tried to save money, but I got stuck in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that one yet, make sure you check it out right now before you watch this vlog so that it all makes sense. I mean, mm. no comment. Making a little dumpling sauce, soy sauce, sesame oil for the vinegar. I'm using this sweet chili rice vinegar from Miscon. Ooh, these are the Trader Joe's shrimp gyoza, and I'm just steaming them because I want it to be healthy. Hmm. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. We got one side done. And then we have this side that we're still not 100% done yet. So here's the problem right now. I don't have enough wood slats to go over both this little area and the door. It's not ideal, but I really don't feel like buying a whole new pack just to get the door done. So. So everything that you just saw, the measuring, the cutting, the fitting, the gluing, all of that, I did that probably, it feels like I did it a thousand times, but going around the little hinges, going around the locks, all of these, one by one. So right when I was gonna install this into the truck, I noticed that this little round corner right here, it's kind of bothering me a lot. I think what I'm gonna do is just cut a piece to go over it like that so it looks squared off. I 
I think it's also worth mentioning that I am using original holes here for the bolts. That way I'm not creating any new holes that I don't need in the future in case I want to put everything back. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it is almost done, yo. This is a really good job, if I say so myself. Obviously, it would have been better if I could have finished that door, but it doesn't bother me too much. What does bother me is the floor. I don't know if that's gonna work. I feel like if I step on this, it'll definitely break. <laughs> Not good for flooring. I got so lucky with this cart. There was like 50 carts and the one that I pick. this piece fits oh nay oh 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 no oh we're in a pickle oh <laughs> what you make <laughs> Mmm. Let me. Did you find it all? Did you, you find sure? it? Let me. Where is Should it? Should I give her a guide? Let me. Where is it? You can do it. <laughs> it's okay. Bruh, it got so freaking dark outside. We're gonna continue this tomorrow, man. Good morning, y'all. So I put two coats on it yesterday, but I think I'm gonna do one more today. But before doing that, I'm gonna stand it down because as you hear, it feels or it sounds and feels very, very rough. Apparently you can use your shirt too. How did I mess this up? So you guys remember this corner piece I bought? Because they charge per foot and not per piece, I bought exactly the amount I needed. Here's the problem. So I brought this piece over here and there's about one inch too much, which usually no problem, right? I would just cut it off and throw it away. But if this side there's more, the other side, there's not enough. Fits, We're missing an inch. Bruh, that's what she said.
So everything is about 90% done, but we thought it would be a great idea to basically have date night in here. <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> We haven't had Panda Express in like really long. It's been about like, like two, two weeks. Like two weeks. Yeah, it's been too long. Mm. Mm -hmm. Navi! It's a perfect place for Navi. Oh. Kitchen stuff. It's so nice having a, the headroom. Mm hmm. Whaley was like, man, this piece of broccoli is way too big. I said, no problem. And this crate is basically all my kitchen stuff. Anything you need, babe. What else do you need? Mm. So good. Yeah. The filet mignon was pretty interesting. It's kind of like mince. This is a spot. Exposure to chemicals including you might have really good boba. You also may have had really good Michelin star food. But have you had Michelin star boba? The line is so long. It's like I don't want to show people's faces, but it's long, bruh. Got the goods. We're healthy today, no boba, The day is finally here, where I am done with this whole project. This whole project took me about almost a month. It literally started from a little sketch on my phone into reality. Welcome to my mini studio apartment. So I'm gonna quickly walk you guys around and show you guys my home. So the first thing you'll notice are these two crates right here. And I usually like to keep all my camping stuff in crates because that way it's super easy to load and unload whenever I do go camping and come back from camping. So. I recently just got these on Timu. They just arrived, so there's literally nothing inside. I will have to transfer everything from the other crates into these ones that have doors. Pretty cool design. There's also nothing down here. Um, but yeah, this is where I keep my camping stuff. And then here, this is my kitchen. So I keep all my cooking stuff in here. Super organized. I like to keep everything in bags so that when it comes to looking for things it's super easy super simple up here is my aroma diffuser i usually like to keep this on when i am at home but i've never brought it camping i do plan on bringing it more often so i have all the power that i need to power this thing i'm not 100 percent sure how this moisture is going to work with the unfinished wood up front so we're not going to keep that on for too long here on my molly rack are some photos me and my grandma me, Whaley, Matt and Sandra in Japan for their wedding. Michi, of course. I uh, have a paper towel holder here that I just got. I'm also gonna link a lot of the items that you see in this video down in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. Moving on to here on the Molly Rack is my fire extinguisher holder. And I can show you. Oh no, there's a fire. Right under that is my little tiny Jackery that could power anything small. Um, but then I also have a Jackery 2000 Pro that can power basically anything that you can plug in at home. And right above that, you can see my Bermuda the Lantern. So I have the gray one and the black one, it also comes in white. And I really like it because, I mean, look at this. The warm light in this 
it's like no other and it's very bright it lasts pretty long and also as you turn it more it gets into a very bright white color a lot more lighting i have this mushroom one from timu and then i got this one off of amazon down here i have some cookbooks and a cooking magazine my chapstick and then this right here just my hats two hats that i have one from uh 47 and then the other one from little howler moving to the back right here is my solo stove i'm obviously not going to turn this on but i just thought it looked really cool here this is probably going to be stored somewhere in these boxes which actually i haven't talked about these boxes at all i really haven't thought of what to put in these yet so there's not much in there right now cool thing here that i added was a little lock right here these latch locks so right here i have nothing but a little cushion that we use for navi so i have my cooking stove this is my butane stove toilet paper charmin ultra strong gotta take care of the booty um first aid kit i got this one at walmart years ago everything should be expired by now but hey if it ain't broke i don't know what i'm saying what do i have here i have a little ratchet wrench some magnets collapsible bucket an axe jumper cable a collapsible shovel it's probably kind of dirty so i'm not gonna take it out Honestly, I forgot what I put in here. Let's see, some microfiber towels and then some tools that I always need, my emergency kit. Um, so that's basically it. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for sticking till the end. If you guys like any of these videos that has to do with like camping, cooking, or outdoors, make sure you go to my channel. There's a bunch of videos. If you could do me a huge favor before you leave, hit the like button and the subscribe button if you like this video. That really helps me know what kind of videos I should put out and also other videos that are similar can get suggested to you. So please and thank you. Um, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below and I'll answer them in next week's video, which you won't want to miss because I talk a little bit more about this rig and anything that you are wondering, let me know. I can answer them in person. And um, that's pretty much it. So I guess I'll see you next week. All right, see you guys.